Now what's happening here for me? Tell me about the brain and the robot. Tell me the, the lobster brain. It's a very large lobster brain. It's the one you're talking to. Okay, yeah, so I will talk to the brain. So what you can see here then, is, is my lobster Uber bot, the Uber lobster bot, which is a sort of um, the world's first telepresent with an AI assisted art making robot where people basically holders of the lobster bots take control of the Uber lobster bot in my studio and they, they log in online and they get into the brain of the robot and they actually control and become in that moment they become the Uber lobster bot and like a metaphysical transition then they then generate a work with it with the AI brain of the robot so they create a unique um, AI created mutant robot and then they um, it's also titled with a with an AI text prompt which is in creative philosophical lobster orientated uh, title for the work and then they they paint so they I wonder if we're gonna do it yeah so the laser target so they choose where to fire the paint and then they and then they action the painting so you'll see we're we ran out of work so we're not multi-painting them <laughs> this is just a demo normally it's set up in the studio but you can see behind that's what the, the view viewpoint from the viewers here you can see pouring the end look you get some action he's running out of paint yes it's only a small amount of noise we would, uh, run out of paint. and the brain. With the paint that's the brain because last time we spoke you were telling me you were going to go underwater and Yes, and yes, have my conversation. We're yeah. still working on it because I um, was trying to do that for the Edinburgh Festival, but we couldn't get a big enough tank, like water tank, to, to, so that it would fit both me and the lobster without it being like a cramped one that wouldn't really work for the performance. So we're still trying to, to basically pull it off on a budget. So the problem is because these things cost so much money. Trying to, to rent like a large scale you know, scientific tank is crazy, but I'm still working on it. Is somebody sponsoring the robot? No, I, I, I sponsored it myself. Oh, <laughs> yes. Great. Well, luckily, I, I have my Lobstar community and stuff, and they've been supporting it with it. Honestly, the Lobstar Bot project really good. I'm quite happy. So the holders of the Lobstar Bots, we, we minted that project in December. You can see we've got some new Lobstar toys here. Lobster Spam can. We've launched these today. And then this is the, the Lobster Mushroom. So editions of 100. That's great. Can I give you one of these? No, they're great. This is my, my recent show in Rome. Did I see you before that? I did a big show in Rome and basically the, the um, install is pretty amazing because we had 12 sculptures around Villa Borghese. I think I saw it on Instagram. Yeah, so it's like a proper lobster takeover of Rome. So there's like 8 meter steel sculpture and bronze like a hunt sculpture and then <laughs> the and I love so it was pretty crazy because it was like I also had a show in a museum in Rome at the same time. Which museum? Um, it's Maxi. called no, not the Maxi. It's called the. Um, find yourself so good. We'll have to find it. I forget the name. It's, it's so happy. So, so like. And we also put like a giant um, sculpture on the, wow. on the building in Rome. It was pretty crazy, right in the centre of the city. So it was like and a proper how was invasion. That and look. Organized? Took over all the buses. So all around Rome they were going for lots of buses. That's amazing. Yeah, so quite it was quite a cool like multimedia of such an ancient city. I know. Because the lobsters of antiquity really. Because in Pompeii, basically, in the house of the Faun in Pompeii, there's an amazing fifth century mosaic of a um, lobster octopus which is one of the great early um, lobster like lobster artworks and they live forever no yes immortality the only thing is this shell the shell is the problem it's the it's the costume that holds them back but their their cell reproduction is perfect wow they they suffocate due to the weight of the shell really otherwise they're immortal so they're sort of immortal wow. yes but they also live forever they will inherit the earth there is a lobster planet out there. We are but a stepping stone. Wow. An evolutionary stepping stone. And it, wow, this is great. But it's soon they will be discovering lobster, the, the, the fossils and relics of um, lobsters from, from the future that have come to Earth in antiquity. But we'll, we'll soon to find this out. In our lifetimes. Yes, in our lifetimes. It'll all become clear. Wow, that's amazing. It's, it's, that was in Venice. Yeah, for the Biennale. 